Unemployment rates, U1, U2, U3, U4, U5, and U6. Let's look at all of the U's. We'll start with U1. Notice in U1, unemployment one, persons unemployed for 15 weeks or longer. We're looking at long run unemployment in the economy. If you notice from July of 2015 to July of 2016, that percentage has remained the same. Let's look at U2. U2 are job losers and persons who completed temporary jobs. Job losers are unemployed persons who involuntarily lost their last job or who had completed a temporary job. This includes persons who were on temporary layoff expecting to return from work but weren't rehired. And so as you can tell from July 2015 to July of 2016, uh, that number has gone down as a percentage number. This is the official unemployment rate, and as you can tell, from July 2015 at 5.6 to July 2016, where it stands at 4.9%, the official unemployment rate has gone down. U4 includes total unemployed plus discouraged workers. Discouraged workers are persons not in the labor force who want and are available for a job and who have looked for work sometime in the past 12 months, but who are not currently looking for work because they believe there are no jobs available or there are none for which they would actually qualify. In July of 2015, that number was 6%, and then in July of 2016, it was 5.2%. U5. U4 plus now all other persons marginally attached to the labor force. Now, to be marginally attached, these are persons not in the labor force who want or are available for work and who have looked for a job sometime in the prior 12 months but were not counted as unemployed because they had not searched for work in the four weeks preceding the survey. Notice July of 2015, it was 6.7%. July of 2016, 6.0%. Let's look at U6. U6 includes all of U5 plus total employed part-time for economic reasons. Now, part-time for economic reasons means that these are persons who indicated that they would like to work full-time but we're working part-time, one to 34 hours, because of an economic reason, such as their hours were cut back or they were unable to find full-time jobs. If you've noticed, in July 2015, it went from 10.7 down to 9.7.